Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And if you love Star Wars, never let anyone tell you that you shouldn't. Well, I do agree with that. Uh, never... But I think it works in reverse as well. Yeah, so this is coming from Comic Book Resources, and we're going to talk about that and talk about how a lot of news outlets have been telling Star Wars fans what kind of Star Wars they should like. And right, and if you don't like the kind they say you should like, then somehow you are uh, you get named, labeled a name, but, you know, not only anybody tell you you can't like it, but we can tell you you can't, you have to like it. Yeah, now this article's actually, it's actually pretty fair from what I've read of it. We're going to well, talk a little bit. It starts uh, out fair. Yeah. That's how a lot of these articles start out. But I can tell you, I can answer the question here. Uh, before we get into that, though, please subscribe. If you guys have not subscribed already, we're at about 85,000 subs, hoping for 100,000 soon. Make sure you're still subscribed. Right. There is some weirdness going on with YouTube lately where, and people were commenting about on Twitter yesterday, where a lot of channels that are critical of Star Wars or Disney as of late seem to be losing subscribers. For no reason. For no reason. And since we don't ever buy subs, the people that are being unsubscribed have to be real people. So double check and make sure you're still subscribed because, you know, people are apparently getting unsubscribed. Yeah, or we're just pissing a lot of people off. I don't think that's the case. Uh, but literally we had a bunch of subs disappear the other day and then come back. It was the weirdest dang thing. But we stayed the same for like two days even though we know that yeah, wasn't true. So it, it's, there's some fishiness going on. Anyway. Anyway, uh, back to this. So we know there's a lot of discussion about Star Wars this month because of the rise of Skywalker and the Mandalorian. And uh, according to Bob Iger, and we'll talk a little bit about that later. I've got that one pulled up too. Star Wars is just getting started. They're just getting warmed up. Oh, yay. They're just getting warmed up. Well, we knew up. that with Disney+. Plus. Yeah. They're all, all shades of, of milk. Uh, that you can milk out of the Star Wars galaxy. That's we'll right. have pink milk and we'll have chartreuse milk and puce milk. There you go. Uh, pretty soon. So they're going to milk Star Wars for everything it's got. So here's a genuine question according to this article from Comic Book Resources, and I think I can answer it. When did liking Star Wars become so controversial? Geeky. Last Jedi. I think The Last Jedi was <laughs> I'm part sorry, of it. but that's when. I mean, I got it from Force Awakens too, but. It, it, it's here's the thing and this is what I 100% I, I agree that people are allowed to like it and they should be allowed to have their opinion to like it I a thousand percent agree I have said that repeatedly if you like it that's cool you could you're allowed to like it the problem I have is that you're not allowed you're not allowed to not like it like if you don't like it and you have legitimate reasons why you don't like something it doesn't matter what your reasons are it's automatically because something wrong with you as a person so it goes both ways and that's my problem. There are more people that like it aren't getting anywhere near the crap as people who don't like it. Yeah, what I can tell you where I think it started was with the media. I think oh, the, the media, me yeah, the last Jedi. Absolutely, and it was over the last Jedi, and it continues to this day. We did a video yesterday talking about how the media just can't quit Ryan Johnson. They can't quit the last Jedi. They can't quit Rose Tico. Well, I think you could even argue that it went back to even the Ghostbusters 2016 that this whole media thing started because we saw it with Shira. People didn't like the, the they didn't like the the concept art for Shira because they thought she didn't she looked kind of really boyish, and immediately it became well if you don't like the concept art you are clearly a sexist misogynist man baby troll because you didn't like it but I don't like it because I don't like her skirt doesn't matter you are a problematic person who who just wants to get off on Shira and that's the same thing we're seeing with Star Wars it can't be because maybe you just didn't like that character well if you don't like the character and it happened to be female or happened to be Asian you're just a racist misogynist but I'm a woman doesn't matter you're internalized misogyny I'm gonna call you swear words in Spanish now uh, yeah, and that actually did happen. No, it, it did start, I think, about 2016. And I think it started with the media. And I think it started when well, yeah, it's the, media. the pop culture media became, uh, I guess, infiltrated with a bunch of activists. But it, yeah, when it became Twitter became the media, Tumblr yeah. became the media, this whole thing started. When the media needed people really bad, they need people cheap, and they reached out to get whatever they could get, this is what happened. I would agree with that. I think that really is where, where it came from and why we always talk about this in comics too, where, you know, we're like, when did comics, you know, start to decline? When did the media start to decline? And I think it goes back to money. I think it goes back to money because these, these blogs don't pay much. Right. So they get what they can get. And a lot of times, you know, you, you get activist types if you're not paying much because 
these people just want a platform. They don't really care well, about the money. To be fair, this author actually is one who I think usually sticks to the news. Yeah. He, yeah. I mean, I'm not, I, he's not one of the ones who I would consider going out trolling people on the norm. He mostly, I think, when you look back at his stories, is someone who tries to stick to the news and tries to stick to whatever is provable and newsworthy. So when I'm mentioning these people, I'm not talking about this author in particular because this author is actually one of the few that actually tries to be a journalist. So, you know, I'm not talking about, about them. Yeah, but for everybody else, we take their at least you tried cake and we throw it in the garbage. That's right. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, so. but I agree a hundred percent that he has a point here. It's like when the Star Wars, like Star Wars, is controversial. Well, I don't know when did, but the, the same works in reverse. When did not liking a Star Wars movie make you a man baby, make you a troll, make you a misogynist? I mean, the same can be argued for the flip side because I didn't really care for the Force Awakens. I thought Ray was Mary Sue. I'm a woman saying that. Most of the guys I knew totally liked her, had no problem with her at the time. I'm the one who said it felt like a new hope all over again. I got so much crap for that. I still wasn't called names though then. I, they, they weren't using the name calling that. But I got crap for it. I was told I wasn't a fan. My fan cred was questioned because I didn't just automatically love it. Uh, ironically, later, the same people who called me that were like, you know, it's like a new hope all over again. It's like, no shit. But, um, you know, it was okay with Force Awakens. But when we got to Last Jedi, that's when it became, if you don't like these characters, you are a, you're automatically some kind of bad person. It is, uh, you know, a troll, a man baby. Doesn't matter your gender, doesn't matter your race, doesn't matter your sexual orientation, no matter what it was, you were still labeled as a problematic person because you didn't agree with these people. That's where the problem started. Yeah, so here, um, I'm going to read a little bit of this article and we can comment some more. Uh, it says, sometimes it feels as though we live in an era where Star Wars can no longer just be fun. Agreed. No shit. You can't just go and see the latest film without dreading the frequently toxic online discourse. That should be a capital D. That is Ryan Johnson's Pokemon. Yeah, that definitely follows. Discourse. But I'm saying it goes both ways. Stop acting like it only goes one way. It goes both ways. And I've actually got more shit for not liking it than I have for liking things. Yeah, so uh, it's become more a game of having to defend your love of the franchise to those yes. who feel the need to go on hours-long rants about how Star Wars is being ruined or how mindless or hurl mindless vitriol at Kathleen Kennedy. Okay, wait, wait, I'm going to interrupt you here. The hurling mindless vitriol is a blot. That is a load of shit. And I'll tell you why. Because Kathleen Kennedy is ultimately responsible for this. And even the people that were like Last Jedi defenders who watched The Rise of Skywalker and do not like The Rise of Skywalker because undid Last Jedi are admitting there was no plan. And when I'm talking about Kathleen Kennedy, it's usually in regards to the fact that it's her job to make sure everything was laid out. It was her job to make sure it was cohesive. It was her job to make sure everybody worked together to make it a story that flowed. She did not do her job. And no matter how much you say that is not mindless vitriol at Kathleen Kennedy, um, thank you very much. I worked in writing for years and stuff like that, and storytelling and art. This is not about that. This is about somebody who did not do her job. And it's very obvious, even people who were like kissing her ass are agreeing with that now. Just say, yeah. Um, we've not, you know, look, I, I know there are some people who who hurl personal insults at her, but pointing out a, well, a we do not lack in in uh just basic job performance is not the same as calling her names, which we do not call people names for liking Star Wars, nor do we call them call Kathleen Kennedy names. No, not at all. We, I've actually said, you know, she's worked on a lot of uh, a lot of movies that were, you know, huge uh, in the 80s and 90s, meant a lot to all of our childhoods. Uh, she has been in Hollywood for a very, very long time. I actually thought she was going to be a good pick yeah. when George put her in charge. I actually thought Disney was going to be a good choice to carry it on. I really did at first. But that was back when they were still doing things that were good and not just rehashing everything they've already done. So, you know, I mean, I'll be the first one to admit that I, I'm with you. I thought Kathleen Kennedy was a good choice, and I thought Disney was a good choice back then. Yeah, but now now the proof is in the product, and yeah. it, hasn't, it hasn't been consistently good. Uh, so it's perfectly fine to not like something as part of what makes us individuals. But it's not perfectly fine to not like something. What's this guy's name again? Noah. Noah. It's not um, perfectly fine. That's the problem. Because people who like the movie, I've been like, yeah, you're allowed to like it. Cool, no problem. Back to The Force Awakens, I've been like, you know, you're allowed to like it. That's cool. No problem. You know, I, 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 you know, I, I'm happy that some people like it. I don't want people to feel like I feel. You know, that would, I, why would I wish that on anyone? So I'm just like, you know, you're allowed to like it. I've said that. It was okay, it was okay with The Force Awakens. I, didn't, I, I did get some people t trying to tell me I wasn't a real Star Wars fan, which is a load of shit because I've been a Star Wars fan since I was little. I sold the toys. I mean, I was like a walking encyclopedia on Star Wars. Don't tell me I wasn't a Star Wars fan. But, you know, it wasn't that bad. But when Last Jedi came out, 
it became that if you didn't like it, you, they, there was name calling, labeling, you were somehow a bad person if you don't agree. That's where the harassment came. And I'm sorry, I'm tired of hearing that if you like it, you, you know, you're harassed. I can guarantee you 100%, you're harassed just as much for not liking it. Well, that question just as much for not liking it. You have to defend your fandom just as much, if not more so, for not liking it. Um, yeah, that said, to go out of your way to be a jerk about it is something completely different. Well, I agree with you. And, don't don't be a jerk. You don't need to be a jerk. And they're bringing up the Kelly Marie Tran incident, which is not what actually happened. And if you want to talk about being a jerk, you know, we could we could point to the uh, numerous news outlets that have called Star Wars fans names uh, for the last two or three years now. Ryan Johnson was run the coin the term man baby over the whole thing. Uh, so for those who need to hear this, you're not wrong for liking The Last That's Jedi. That's true. You're not wrong for liking The Rise Again, of Skywalker. Again, true. You're not wrong for liking the prequels. Again, true. You're not wrong for liking the anthology movies. Again, true. You're not wrong for liking Star Wars because if you like any of it, chances are it's because the franchise's interstellar adventures captivated you. Uh, holding, on to, uh, holding on to that is much more valuable than letting the internet taint your perception. Okay, I agree with that 100%. You're allowed to like whatever you like. Heck, I like the original trilogy. I stick to that. Like, like, like Neon's completely done. He has no desire for any of it. No. I still like original trilogy, so I will gladly support original trilogy merchandise. I will buy the stuff. I will love it. I will hug it. I will say it's amazing because that's the trilogy I love. Yeah, and there, you know, he's going through all the merits of the different uh, Star Wars incarnations. You know, so yeah, I think he's. I think he's he's got a good point, but it's also I mean if you read through it, it's basically you're you're allowed to like it, but you're not allowed to not like well, it. Well, no, you're allowed to like it. Don't let those haters tell you otherwise. But from our perspective, the haters have been on both extremes. Yeah. Because when we said we liked Solo a Star Wars story, we didn't think it was that bad. Oh my God, we got so much shit for liking it. Just as much shit as we got for not liking other movies. It's just from different people. Here we go. Top comment. Yes, exactly. Tell it to your own website and writers, not readers. Exactly. Now, Media perpetuates. Now, Noah is actually pretty balanced, but Comic Book Resources has devolved into Tumblr. Over the last couple of years, mm -hmm. Comic Book Resources used to be a pretty reputable mm -hmm. comic book news site, and it was sold, and now they'll basically hire anybody. And some of these people have very strong opinions and they come on there and it doesn't matter as long as they get views. These websites need content. There aren't a lot of people out there now beating down their doors to write. Nobody wants to be a blogger or a journalist anymore. In fact, uh, somebody was on Twitter. I forget who it was. It was uh, one, of the, one of the bigger pop culture sites saying that they used to get like hundreds of resumes every month, you know, for people wanting to write for their site. Now they're lucky if they get two. Right. Nobody wants to be a blogger anymore, so they take what they can get and they take what they can afford. Right. And the next comment, you can like bad things all you want, but don't tell other people that they are not they're not bad just because you like them. There are standards running a filmmaking in a film and that can fall below those standards and therefore be bad. They're using The Last Jedi to teach how not to write a, a, a film script. I mean Yeah, I know that's pretty bad. There were good elements in in The Last Jedi. There were some beautiful moments that were buried under the heaps of stuff that wasn't. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I agree with this Tim guy. Tim's like... I think so, too. Yeah, you're also not wrong for not liking Star Wars. That's the thing. That's he's, what I'm saying. Yeah, he, the author's like, you're allowed to like this, you're allowed to like that, but Don't he's not... Don't let them tell you not. Yeah, but he's not He's not saying you're, you're allowed to be angry about this movie because it, it negates things in this other movie that you loved, but the media's doing it, too. They're furious, including comic book resources. They're absolutely furious that a lot of the stuff in The Last Jedi got walked back in the Rise of Skywalker, you know they're they're absolutely livid. So yeah, you know original trilogy fans can be upset about the Rise of Skywalker undoing uh, a lot of the original trilogy. So fans of the original trilogy can be angry about the Rise of Skywalker bringing back Palpatine for no apparent reason and no explanation. Uh, making making Rey a Skywalker when she's not, you know, basically having the Palpatines win the galaxy. Yeah, it's a Palpatine saga, not the Skywalker saga at this point. You're allowed to be upset about that. Now, do I agree with name calling? No, I don't. Like no, we've we said never before, do. We, we do not get into hurling personal insults at Kathleen Kennedy or whatever. Uh, Ryan Johnson, though, the dude has said some really shitty things to the fans mm -hmm. he has you know i mean i can't look and that that doesn't detract from the fact that i guess he's an okay filmmaker you know some of his movies are okay and there were some individual scenes in the last jedi i liked but it's really hard to look at star wars in the same light because of everything going on with the media with lucasfilm 
and Disney on social media. There are people behaving the way they're behaving. Yeah, you know, at least George, even when George was furious, he wasn't out there on Twitter attacking no. the fans. He was just like, you don't like Jar Jar? Fine, I'll put less Jar Jar in the next movie. Well, you yeah, because he wanted to make money. Yeah, so basically Star Wars changed forever, obviously, when Disney bought it. Right. But all the baggage that comes with being a Disney property and all the discussion and all that, that, that came with it. I mean, being it, well, even any IP. I mean, with She Ra, with He Man, with any well known IP, the fans come with it. And the fans are not baggage. Oh my God. I just said the baggage of the fandom. I'm like, fans are not baggage. I'm sorry. With the fans come good and bad. That's how it is for anything. Um, are, are there extremist fans? Yes, but they are on both sides. There's yeah. extremist fans who like like Last Jedi, calling everybody who doesn't like Last Jedi horrible names and stuff like that. There are fans on the side who don't like the Last Jedi that were trolling people who do like the Last Jedi. It happens, but those are extremes, and those aren't the majority of the people. And I'm tired of no matter what your argument is, no matter what your reason, even if it's a good one, it has nothing to do with you know being women or racism or anything. You are automatically it, it, it's easier just to throw a label on you and say you're a bad person, and ignore you. That it isn't. So you are allowed to like it. Hell yeah. I totally agree with that. I've been saying that. But you are also allowed not to like it. And that does not make you a bad person or less of a fan. Yeah. Um, cause you're just, you're, you're just calling out that the emperor is not wearing any clothes, you know? But right. And he goes on, not everyone who criticizes or dislikes the direction that the sequels took are trolls with critiques. It's one thing to curse out the creative involved, which it is. It's another to actually tell them why some of their choices didn't work. Every group has its extremist, which is what I just said. Yep. Even those sequel fans who try to pay anyone who criticizes these movies, man, babies, toxic Russian bots or ism phobes, exactly what I've been saying. Um, as for the hate for the prequels, even the prequel trilogy at its worst with Jar Jar and the Midichlorian didn't divide the fan base like Last Jedi did. That's true, we were there. The prequels aren't as good as the original trilogy, but they used to be the, the low point of the saga. Now they're seen more favorably because of the new level of divisiveness that has been reached. And it's because like, people, fans and media have behaved. Yeah, I, I, I do think it's the media, and I think it's Twitter amplifying, because we, you know, we didn't have Twitter when the prequels came out. You know, we had message boards, but you know the what the general public didn't really use the message boards it was for the super fans and i do remember a lot of the discussion on the message boards about the prequels and it wasn't as toxic no as i mean people had issues with it but people, not like this back in the day there was this concept of you're allowed to agree to disagree and you can move on and it was fine crazy crazy concept that existed for many many years yeah but it's it's the media has definitely the media and social media has definitely amplified and amplified the worst, I think, and people, and it's just become a pissing match now of, uh, you know, which which Star Wars is the best. And I'm sorry, but these journalists are 90% of the problem. Yeah, really and the are. thing is, you know, which Star Wars is the best? It doesn't matter. Everybody has a different opinion on which one they like the best, which trilogy, which movie. And that's fine. People are allowed to like this section, but not this section. People are allowed to not like this movie or that movie because they feel like it undid this movie. You know, I love it because all these people that were like, you know, calling everybody names for not liking The Last Jedi are, because they didn't like it because they felt like it undid all this, the, the, the saga that came before are now mad because the new movie undid what they liked. Yep. And it's like, you know what? Potter kettle because it's the exact same thing. So now you understand what everybody else is feeling. And now, you know, now somehow it's legit feeling because it's them. No, it's a legit feeling no matter who you are. And no one should have to defend their fandom and how much they love Star Wars because they don't like something or like something. I'm so tired of hearing, well, if you didn't like this movie, you're not a real fan. If you like this movie, you're not a real fan. You can be a real fan and like or not like something. It's completely allowed. There isn't a fan police out there telling people that you're under arrest because how dare you not like this movie? Or, you know, throwing in the slammer because you liked it and how dare you could you like this crap? This is stupid. People are allowed to like it. People are allowed not to like it. It's fine. But the media is spinning it that if, you know, it has to be their way or the highway. Vitriol Kathleen Kennedy. So the only thing, I mean, that we've said about Kathleen Kennedy is she dropped the ball because she did. Yeah. I mean, are there other people out there name calling? I'm sure. I'm sure there are. Uh, but you want to talk about the fan police. I think that's, that's it right there. The media now. The difference between the pop culture media now and the pop culture media five or ten years ago is back then it was uh for fans by fans and now they feel like they are the police they are policing the fandom it's an elite it's an elitist attitude yeah. i have i'm on this platform so now i can tell you what's what because my opinion is is the real fandom yep and here's the thing it doesn't matter I 
mean, we obviously don't like The Last Jedi. We obviously haven't liked the Disney the Disney trilogy. I mean, I've not I've not watched Rise of Skywalker, so I'm really not going to comment on that. Other than what we know from the spoilers because I haven't watched it, and it wouldn't be fair of me to do so. But the other movies we haven't cared for, and you know what? That doesn't make us less of fans because we didn't like them any more than it makes somebody more a fan because they did like it. And I'm so tired of this, you know, fan cred pissing match bullshit. Why is Star Wars not fun anymore? Because of this. And it's mostly because of elitism. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the irony in all this is a lot of the people that are using Star Wars as a tool to attack the fandom aren't actually fans. I think a lot of them, it feels like they're not longtime fans. They're just latching on to this fandom to use that platform to attack people they don't like who have uh, maybe different uh, beliefs than they have or whatever. And I, you know, we see this time and time again. We saw it in gaming. We see it in uh, tabletop games now. She Comics, we see it with animation where you have, I mean, I, look, I don't like calling anybody a fake fan, but I think if you're not really a fan of the franchise, but you're using that platform to sort of worm your way into uh, a fandom with the sole purpose, the sole purpose, not to have an intelligent discussion, but the sole purpose to tear down and belittle and lord over that fandom, then you are a fake fan. Even right. if you like the franchise, you're a fake fan because your goal is to be divisive. Right, because fans, real fans, I mean, well, if I don't like, I don't like The Last Jedi, but I had no problem with other people liking it. Where my problem came in, and when we started making videos, was when people, I had to sit by and watch people get called names, us get called names, immediately it wasn't, why, why, why don't you like about it? It was, you're a misogynist, you're a, you know, racist, you're a troll, and it's like, but that wasn't why I didn't like it. Didn't matter why you didn't like it. Even if you had a, a legitimate argument, didn't matter, it was automatically that you were some kind of bad person and beneath them because you didn't agree with their take on it. And I have a problem with that. I don't think any fans should be called names because they like or don't like something. Um, they, they're, they're entitled to their opinion. They are entitled. And the proof is in the pudding. If, if it, Last Jedi did fantastic and it was, you know, knocking out of the park the way these, these me, this media wants to, come to say and say, you know, go on about. Why the hell would Disney change it now? They wouldn't. They wouldn't scramble to do reshoots. They wouldn't scramble to change it. They wouldn't try to save it if it wasn't for the fact they're losing money. Mm -hmm. They're not selling toys. Uh, Iger was worried. The park wasn't doing very well. Disney doesn't do anything unless there's a real financial reason for them to do so. If they retconned Last Jedi, it's because they, with all their research and number crunching, they felt they needed to. Yeah, because they're looking at the long term. Disney's looking at the long term. Bob Iger, we're just getting started with Star Wars. They're looking at where is Star Wars going to be in five or ten years from now, after Kathleen Kennedy's gone, after Bob Iger's gone. Mm -hmm. You know, if the brand is damaged and has to go on hiatus for a decade, they're not going to recoup their $4 billion. And people try to say they recouped this. Like, no, they've actually spent a ton of money beyond that with the theme parks and all the right. other stuff they've been doing. Marketing, everything yeah. else. Um, so I don't even know if they've made the $4 billion back yet, but... They want Star Wars to be this evergreen property and they're going to try to go for mass appeal. And The Last Jedi, you know, all these sites are like, oh, it was a work of art. Yeah, that that might be. It might have been Ryan Johnson's finger painting or whatever. But but it it did affect other divisions. It wasn't just the box office. It was the merchandise sales. It was the theme park. The sequel trilogy has not been a slam dunk. It has absolutely affected other, other parts. So... Um, yeah, Disney thinks like that, and you're entirely right. They probably have all kinds of charts, charts yeah, upon charts. Yeah, people don't understand this. Like, we actually come from this background. We come from corporate. We come from this. We're telling you this is how they think. We said that with, 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 um, with Solo. We said what's going to happen is if everybody boycotts Solo, their takeaway isn't going to be that maybe it was because of, you know, everybody's doing it because they hated The Last Jedi. Their takeaway was going to be that they didn't want more Solo. So what did Disney do immediately? They canceled all the movies they were going to have yeah. the standalones because that was their takeaway. And then right after that, um, they, they blamed it on brand fatigue. And it wasn't brand fatigue, it was mismanagement. And th they blamed it on, on that. And, and, you know, we know where we're coming from on this because we work with these people. We work from we're from this. It's all about numbers. And you know, their best shot I have right now of getting everybody back together is the Mandalorian, and I think the Obi Wan and all the different shows coming, yeah. um, bringing back Clone Wars and all that. That those are their best shots at reuniting the fandom if they make the right decisions. 
Yeah, the, one of the things they really have to do is they need to shut their people up. They need to stop letting their people attack the fans. Yeah. You know, uh, and that that has to be a huge... And I, I think that, that they kind of are, because I've looked at some of the stuff that J.J. Abrams has been saying, and you can tell, like, he's kind of, like, seething under the surface, but he hasn't been as... Uh, volatile is is Ryan Johnson. Yeah, he, he was. never was though. Really, I no. mean, I don't think he he comes from a different age of filmmaking. I think, but I mean, I get it. If you have fans constantly yelling at you and telling your stuff sucks and telling you're terrible, I mean, who wouldn't want to lash out? Because you know, I mean, it's still your work. You you know, you're still proud of it. I get that. You're going to want to lash out. I, I completely understand. But that doesn't actually solve the problem. Um, well, and actually, it just made it worse. And I think yeah. it caused more of a divide. Had they not done that, um, I think that we could have... It wouldn't have fixed the whole situation by any means because Last Jedi was still Last Jedi. But it could have gone a long way in, in controlling the amount of damage done in, instead of adding to it. Well, that's it. They just kept throwing kerosene on the fire uh, time and time and time again. And that's where you can trace all this back to. But again, you know, to have media outlets basically be like... Now they're trying to extend these olive branches. When well, no, the the article was still, you know, don't let them tell, problem. don't let them tell you that you can't like it. Well, no one said. I mean, we always say you're allowed to like it, you're allowed not to like it. You know, we didn't say that. Um, but you have to understand, there's a there's a reverse side of the coin too. Is you just because you like it doesn't mean you have a right to tell people they can't, they that they have to like it, they can't not like it. You know, it's it, the double negative there. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah it's the same thing on both sides and, and, and that's what people in the comments were saying and I do like that author um, because he actually does stay newsy for the most part so he's one of the few ones they have on there that I think is actually about telling a story and, you know, and about telling the news more about a narrative until this article but you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. I mean, so so many of the so many of the uh, the writers they have on comic book resources now are just like these these people would not have been on this site ten right. years. ago. I'm not ago. throwing any shade at this author because uh, usually his stuff's pretty good. Yeah. Um. At all. I'm just saying. You know. I think he's trying to do. I think he's trying to do damage control, and he's trying to. You know. I think he's trying to be helpful, and he is, and he's right. It's just, but it also applies in reverse. Yeah, you're allowed to not like it as well. And you're allowed to to express the opinion. I mean, what the hell, what the movie critics? 55% on Rotten Tomatoes now for The Rise of Skywalker? That's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, Russian bots. That right, have, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, they're trolling Rotten Tomatoes. All these. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Yeah. Everybody needs to understand that. And I don't, I think most people that are real fans, they just want, they just, they don't want to be, they don't want to be unhappy. And, and, and you know... I don't want other people to be unhappy. It's just, you know, I, I mean, I'm unhappy with it. But I'll stick to what I loved, which was the original. And that's fine with me. I love the original trilogy. That's what I'm sticking with. Yeah, I think that's that's what's going to happen is is Star Wars is going to be a mixed bag going forward. It's not going to have... It's going to be have, compartmentalized. It's going to be compartmentalized. There are people who you know, are going to like The Mandalorian, but they're not going to like the movies. Uh, there are going to be people that, that you know like the comics, hate the comics. Uh, some movies people are going to like, some they don't. It's not like before where it was like, all Star Wars is good. Now it's like some is better than others. And, you know, in my case, like, I'll watch The Mandalorian, but I... I I've lost all interest in buying Star Wars merchandise. Mm -hmm. I, you know, and I had at one point, and you can vouch, I had tons of figures, tons of play sets, yeah. tons of, and we and always so had. So did I. I stole it. To yeah, get the, it was the original trilogy. But. Yeah, but we had all kinds of Star Wars stuff, and now I, I, I don't want to buy any Star. I mean, I'll watch the show. You did buy something Star Wars. You bought Chewbacca. For you. Yeah, because I wanted Chewbacca. Yeah, <laughs> so. but. I'm not buying Star Wars stuff anymore to collect because I, you know, do collect stuff. I, I just don't care anymore. Yeah, I, I, I will still buy it if it's original trilogy and it's something that I like. Even original trilogy, like this whole, I, I mean, I gotta be honest, the whole debacle around Star Wars and the drama around Star Wars, like, I don't even, I don't even want to watch the original trilogy movies anymore because I know where the story goes. Uh, even though, as far as I'm concerned, the sequels are apocrypha, it's still it's always going to be in the back of my head that, oh, Luke Skywalker, that happy ending, that that wasn't Yeah, what they happened. just undid it. There was no reason They just undid it. it. You, know, Han, uh, you know, Han and Leia, oh, look, they're together. No, they're not. Right. And Han's going to die. You know. It, and we never get to see them together again. Even yeah. You know, that's what everybody went to see The Force Awakens for. So. Palpatine's dead? No, he's he's coming back with no explanation. What Lucas said, flat out, he was flat dead. Out. He he's was dead. Dead. He was dead. He was dead. He... He fell down a hole. He blew up. And then they atomized the Death Star he was on. He was completely dead, according to George Lucas. Which, yeah, Ian McDermott said, which I've heard this before, that George Lucas said specifically that he was dead because he asked him. Yeah. And he said, no, he's done. He's toast. He's dead. 
Yeah, and so I, I just, but the, the problem is now even watching the original trilogy, I'm, I, I've am i got those shitty ass sequels, you know, in my head, and that's why I hate watching, like, there are some movies I refuse to watch terrible sequels, like The Lost Boys is one of my all-time favorite 80s movies, one of my favorite horror movies, I guess it's more comedy horror, but but I knew, I knew they had a couple of direct-to-DVD sequels that were god-awful, I refuse to watch them because I know it's going to ruin... So like gonna, retroactively yeah. ruin the first movie for me because I know what happens to these characters and it's not good. Um, if I could unwatch the sequels, knowing what I know now, I would do it. Mm -hmm. I absolutely would do it. But anyway, that's just me. That's just me. So are we going to wrap this one up? Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And uh, hopefully we'll be moving on to post Star Wars. Yeah, and again, you are allowed to like these movies. That is completely fine. You are allowed to not like those movies. That is also completely fine. Unless you're out there deliberately trying to troll people on either side, because there are extremists on either side who do that. Um, you're allowed to have your opinion and you're not, and it's hurting no one. And you know, as long as you're out there calling people names for disagreeing with you, you're allowed to think and feel how you want. And they can't tell you otherwise, either way. Yep. So there we go. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.